Hi everyone, this is video number 22 of our Flip Geometry series. We are continuing uh, with our discussion of volume and now I've moved on to the triangular prism. As you'll see, I've got the same base formula for volume. It's the same idea as the previous video where we looked at the rectangular prism. We now have a triangular prism. So we do have a base on the front here as we're familiar with, of course, the second base at the back there. So it's now a triangular base area multiplied by our big H that's going to give us the volume of this shape. So let's adjust our formula to fit the triangular prism that we're dealing with. So instead of just writing it as base area, I know it's a triangle, so I know that I need to have the basic triangular formula base times height divided by 2, and of course that's going to get multiplied by big H. So this is my standard uh, triangular prism volume formula. What I'm going to add now is a little example. I'll put some numbers to this so we can practice one and just see how it all works out. Let's, let's say that in this case uh, the base of the little triangle here is 10 centimeters long. Let's say the little h of the triangle here, the height of that base triangle, is 8 centimeters high. That's that one in there. And then let's say our big h distance here is 20 centimeters between our bases. Okay? So let's start using the formula, taking the numbers or taking the measurements that we have and, and calculating our volume here. So, what we've got volume is equal to little b times little h, or base times height, we see 10 and 8, so I'm going to say 10 multiplied by 8 all gets divided by 2, that's for that first part there, and of course that gets multiplied by big H, which is 20. So here's our formula, here are the numbers now in our formula, we just need to work through it. Uh, I've got 10 multiplied by 8, which is 80, I've got 80 divided by 2, which gives me 40 in the end there, sorry about that, and I now I still have that 20. So what I've got is that the volume is equal to 40 multiplied by 20. So in the end, the volume becomes 800. Now I'm working in, oh, I made one mistake that I see, I'm working in centimeters, except I indicated that in meters. Let me just change that for you. There we are. I meant to do centimeters all the way around. So now we're working in centimeters. In the end, of course, it's 800, and it's centimeters, and now that we're in volume, we're thinking about it in a three-dimensional way. We're thinking about volume, remember, as the space inside the object. And that space inside the object is a three-dimensional space, so we're into cubic centimeters. So in the end, with these measurements of this triangular prism, its volume is going to be 800 centimeters cubed. 